Hi everybody, today I'm to show you a fast AFK pumpkin carving station. This will be a necessity in 1.13 because the pumpkins that are generated by the pumpkin plants are no longer generated as yeah, carved pumpkins. So this is new in 1.13. You need to shear those pumpkins um, in order to get seeds and also to turn them into carved pumpkins. And you need those carved pumpkins in order to make those jack-o'-lanterns. So if you would try to use the normal pumpkins and a torch, this will no longer give you a jack-o'-lantern, so you need to use the carved pumpkins instead, and this could give you a jack-o'-lantern. So this is an extra, st extra step that was added, and yeah, this might get a little bit tedious, so that's why I made an AFK station if you need a really large amount of pumpkins or carved pumpkins for jack-o'-lanterns, and also those carved pumpkins could be useful for something, because um, you could, yeah, for example, equip mobs. Um, so they would no longer count towards the mob cap. Some fast wizard skeleton farms would require those carved pumpkins. Okay, so now let's look at the AFK station. Um, it's as fast as possible in case you don't use any scripts. So you would get 9,000 carved pumpkins per hour. And it works like this. So here's a yeah, proper that would supply you with new pumpkins. There's also additional chests in the back for more storage, but it yeah, could expand it even more. Then here is a dropper that would supply you with new shears. Um, so basically it spits it out, falls down and gets put into the dropper again. And you're standing here in the back. Uh, in case you run out of shears, you will pick up a new one. Uh, another option would be if you have a skeleton spawner and put mending on your shears and arm breaking, you could also use that uh, in order to yeah, repair your shears. So you would need a skeleton spawner and some dogs that could kill the skeletons for you, and you just need to stand there and yeah, pick up the XP in order to repair, repair the shears, um, but using a, yeah, a dropper would also work. Okay, so this piston here would break the carved pumpkins, so I place them against the block, and then shear them, and the piston breaks it, the popper minecart picks them up and puts them here into this chest. So we got some in there. Um, I use a hopper minecart here because it picks up the items faster, and you don't need to yeah, worry about them spilling. Uh, if you would just place a normal hopper there, it happened to me that the uh, yeah, pumpkins would fly away. The hopper minecarts picks up items every tick. Okay, so the lava here is in order to um, remove the seeds. I'm assuming if you build an AFK station that you have enough seeds, and in order to get rid of them, uh, we just put lava there. So as you can see, if you shear a pumpkin, then the seeds are always dropped right in front of the pumpkin and in this case it would be burnt by the lava immediately. So that's how you get rid of those. But there's probably also a way to put a hopper minecart there and uh, store the seeds if this is, would be important to you. Okay, now let's finally try this out. Let's clear the inventory. Then let's get half a stack of pumpkins or a quarter stack. Uh, it's just important that you don't have a full stack because this would um, yeah, give you enough space to pick up some shears. Let's also get some shears here. And then you have to fill your inventory with other items, so don't pick up all the shears like this. And let's set the gamer to survival and start this. So the only thing you need to do is really hold down right mouse button. Let's turn this on. And you also need to get into right rhythm. So I got it immediately. Since this is yeah, as fast as possible without scripts, you need to get into right rhythm. But you can see I'm yeah, working with the main hand and the off hand, always alternating. And yeah, that's really as fast as possible. But it could happen sometimes that you don't find the right rhythm immediately and then the offhand wouldn't work. So you just have to try this a few times like this. So you can see the shears are active again. Might also be a problem on laggy servers. Um, in case yeah, that's an issue, you might need to alter the concept and make it a little bit slower. But in case you have no lag issues or in single player, um, this would work infinitely as long as you don't run out of pumpkins and shears. So once you're finished, you can pick up your carved pumpkins out of this chest, and of course the storage will be expandable. So before I start the tutorial, I also want to mention that there are simpler concepts that aren't as fast automated. I guess the simplest one would be to have some pumpkins in the offhand, shears in the main hand, and then hold down um, left and right mouse button, as you can see here. This would also give you over time carved pumpkins. Uh, obviously it is it's mostly useful for smaller amounts if you, for example, just need a stack. So here you can see the required materials. You need three hoppers, a hopper minecart, three trapdoors, a piston, five droppers, four observers, 
some building blocks, then one block at least that you can place redstone dust on, one redstone dust, lava bucket, then depending on how much storage you want, uh, additional chests and hoppers, and one rail, temporary. Okay, now let's start. So let's start with the piston that would break the pumpkins. And then two blocks below, we need the hopper. Don't place that yet, it's also just temporary blocks. Um, that leads towards this chest. Then place uh, a trapdoor above. Then get a rail, put a hopper minecart on top, break this, and open the trapdoor. So like this. Then we definitely need a block here in the back to place the pumpkins against. Then below the piston we need a dropper. Um, orientation doesn't matter, we just need it in order to detect when it's getting powered and unpowered. So like this. Then above we also need an observer. And this is the dropper for the normal pumpkins. So here we need uh, another observer, then you need a block that you can place redstone dust on for the redstone, and then three droppers like this, and this one faces in that direction. And then place another observer, making the circuit. I actually forgot that we also need a lever, sorry about that, and unpower everything like this. Then add another hopper here, and make sure that the items will fall down, so we close this. Like this, here's a here's some blocks you can stand on. Then we put the lava in here. So they should also be safe for one for for one fourteen when they change um, how lava and water reacts with non-full blocks. I think uh, this should still contain the liquid. Okay, um, we're almost done. Uh, there's a certain chance that items could actually. Um, glitch out, that's why we place another trap door here and close it so this will safely contain all the shears and they would fall down. Okay, now you can fill this up with pumpkins. Uh, so let's get some. Let's get some shears. So like this. Pumpkins here and shears there. In case you want to expand the storage, just put a hopper here in the back and place a double chest here, for example. Okay, so the machine is done. In case you're playing on a laggy server, as I said, there might be some issues with this because it's just so fast. Um, but you could slow this down, for example, by removing those observers here and placing additional ones and you can make it arbitrary slow. Um, and yeah, close the circuit again. This is something you could do in case you're having uh, lag issues. Okay, but other than that, it should work fine. So let's try it once more. Shears in the main hand, pumpkins in the off hand. You have to find the right rhythm, but once you're in it, it should work infinitely as long as you don't hit a leg spike. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.